Um, you've received offers from uh, Morgan Stanley, PIMCO, and Burnbeck since uh, finishing the program. And I wanted to know from your point of view, how did you choose which, which one to go for? Um, how did you choose which, which firm you'd like to work with? Of course, thanks for having me. I think having done the Amplify internship and having three weeks, one week in buy side and sell side, it really gave me the opportunity to kind of think about what I wanted to do. And when I got the offers, I was you know, very, in a very good position and they're all really good companies. So I, my strategy was to speak to people at different firms and see what I wanted to do and find a bit more about the company, but also what the internship entails. And I think the main reason I picked Morgan Stanley at the end was firstly, my experience with everyone at the company was amazing. Everyone was really nice and supportive. But the second reason was because the program is actually rotational mm. in sales and trading, but also is rotational in equities and fixed income. And as a student, that's very attractive to me because although I've had an insight into what they are, I'm still very keen to learn a bit more about each of them. And at the end of it, make a decision of which one I'm more suited to, if that yeah. makes any sense. That really does make sense. So I guess what you could say is joining us over the summer, it gave you an indication of what area of the industry, um, but not yet sort of which product class and, exactly. and which would suit you. So then the rotational um, aspect of that helps. Okay, really good, good to know. Um, so going back to your time with us this summer, um, how would you, well, first of all, had you made applications before you joined us in the summer? Had you already tried to apply and, and what, how did that go? So I had only applied to Spring Weeks the year before, and it was a very challenging time for me. I really didn't know what I was doing or, you know, I didn't really know how to write a cover letter or anything like that. Before the Amplify Trading Internship, I hadn't actually applied to any summer internships, and that was the goal for the summer. And I really wanted to do this program and then apply to internships right. because I wanted to have it on my CV. And when I was asked why, you know, this internship or why this division, I really wanted to have a genuine answer. Mm. I also wanted to have something to talk about in my cover letter and really show that interest because the program gives you hands on experience and it's not very common to do something like that. And I think that was something that kind of kept me in, rather than you know trying to apply to internships so once I did the internship I got really amazing support as well with my cover letters with my CV you really helped me a lot you know going through my cover letter making it on point very concise and you know obviously you've got experience you've seen so many cover letters and I think that really helped me as well the quality of my applications I think was high than, higher than what I would have sent out if I did everything by myself. And what's really key for me is to this day, I still receive support from the Amplify team. If I've got any questions or if I've got any concerns, I can easily come to you or any of the team and you're really open to help me. And I think that's something that stands out to me. And it's not just a program that you do and it's over and done with. You, the support is continuous and it has been really helpful for me. Thank you. That's good to hear. And I do think, I mean, as we've been running this now for over 11 years, that, that sort of alumni network and everybody helping everyone has been a, a real aspect to it. And I think most people that do exactly. join us um, normally know someone that, that's done it already and has had the experience and, and, and can see the value in that. And one thing I wanted to ask you is when you had, so great that it helped with the CVs and, and with the cover letter, obviously, and making the application stand out. What about the interviews? Um, would the recruiters talk about the experience you had with us in the summer? And what, what kind of questions would they ask? Of course, sometimes they would specifically ask questions. For example, what did you trade or why did you do this internship? But sometimes they would ask open questions. For example, why are you interested in sales or why are you interested in training, trading? And I could very easily go back to this experience mm and talk about what I learned, what I did, and the feelings I had when I was trading or when I was going through analyzing a company's share price. I really had a genuine answer and I think they could see that. And obviously, you know, the program was so wide in terms of the skills you could learn and also aspects of the financial industry. So for example, if I was doing an interview for PIMCO, which is a buy site as a manager, I could easily talk about the simulations I did in as a management. Mm -hmm. And when I was interviewing with Morgan Stanley, because it was sell side, I could easily talk about why I was interested in sell side. And 
sometimes I think I, from speaking to my friends, they struggle to see the difference or be able to kind of share the experience or like, you know, in interviews, they sometimes struggle with that question. Well, it's, a hard, it's, why a hard thing to, it's a hard thing to make up, isn't it? It's that hard question in terms of, you know, why is it that you want to do this role if you haven't done it yet? Exactly. Great tough question to, to answer. Exactly. Um, and how did you find it um, on, on that summer program? Obviously, we were online uh, this year. And uh, certainly from our point of view, it's, it, all the simulations seem to work very well. Um, but did, were you able to make connections with the other uh, students on the cohort at the same time as you? Uh, how, how did you find that experience? Of course, obviously, it was a shame that it was online, but I still had a 10 out of 10 experience mm -hmm. for me personally. I, I have made connections with a few people on the program. We're still talking. One of my friends, actually, he was going through the same experience with Morgan Stanley application. And we are really helping each other out as well. And I think hopefully we will get to meet each other in person as well. But I've been, there hasn't been any problems for me to make connections or relationships. I actually, we actually managed to, um, I don't know how to explain it, but we actually had Amplify Trading on campus at York this year. And it was really nice to see um, George and Charlie again. Uh, yeah. And doing the simulations again, <laughs> you know, memories coming back. It was a very interesting time. So for me, there wasn't any problems. And I actually really enjoyed it. I think looking back, probably the Amplify Trading was the highlight of my summer. It uh, was a really good time for me. Great to hear. Great to hear. Thank you. Makes me feel good as well. I mean, there's, 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 it, it's without question the most rewarding thing we do. Um, but also when I see your type of success story where you have offers now being thrown at you, um, and it's the same for a lot of your cohort, you know, it, 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 it makes me incredibly proud um, that we're able to sort of fill that gap between theory and practice. And how do you think, I mean, for a lot of students who might be thinking about joining us next summer, um, I think they would have... Uh, you know, experienced online learning at, at the university level, they might not really know what the program's about. H how different would you say um, and how much of an impact does our practical way of training differ to what they might have experienced at university? I think it's very different for me. I am a student myself. I am going through online learning. In a way, it's kind of unmotivating. But when I did the Amplify trading, I was the most motivated person or like I was the most motivated I have been, you know, I know myself. And that level of motivation is very important because the reason being, I was kind of replicating the job, what I would mm -hmm. be doing in sales and trading. At some points, it was challenging in terms of, you know, wanting to learn more. The time was nine to five majority of the days, but I knew I had so much learning to do when I did the first day on the first day it was clear for me and I think it's you know very close to what the reality is going to be when I do mm -hmm. my internship next summer and I think with that being said and also seeing everybody else on the program there is a wide range of skill sets I might be like medium somebody's going to be 10 times better than me in terms of their knowledge and then somebody might be very like new to the industry and may not know as much as somebody else that was also a key aspect for me to see where I was last year and then see other people yeah. much more knowledgeable than me, kind of motivated me even more. So I think the experience for me has been amazing. And in terms of learning, it's so different. You don't really get to kind of trade something and then have other people that have been in the industry like yourself, or let's say Anthony, analyzing your performance and telling you what you did well and when mm. you went, where you went wrong. It was really like personal feedback as well. Sometimes, you know, in the workout rooms or at the end when we had the mentor meetings, it was really good to kind of catch up and, you know, the feedback was amazing for me yeah. personally. Well, it's so fantastic to hear. And I was just thinking about Anthony and none of us are afraid to give quite honest feedback. Um, <laughs> and I think that's the same case when we look at our candidate CVs and we help prepare their, their, their cover letters. You know, I, very often I'll see CVs and I'll just very honestly say to somebody, right, we have to start again. Square one, because this is this is definitely going on the wrong <laughs> of the wrong track. Um, but that's good, you know. Again, if if if, if we can create that value add, um, it makes me very happy. Okay. Um, well, listen, I'm I'm thrilled. But now it it, it turns out not only from um, those three I mentioned, Morgan Stanley, uh, Pimco, and Berenberg, you're you're getting offers left, right, and centre that you're now having to turn down. Is that right? 
very grateful yes I mean never saw myself in this situation if I'm being completely honest feels like a dream but I think I should start giving myself a bit more credit because I have been working really hard and it just shows yes. to this day I'm still getting interviews and a few last rounds which unfortunately I have to withdraw from because I have signed an offer and it's just a shame but at the same time very grateful very grateful situations it's a fantastic success story but look it doesn't come without hard work I remember over the summer application after application you're sending out we're tweaking the cover letter and I think wasn't it for you we had a, a cover letter in the CV for a buy side role we did a cover letter in the yes. CV for the sell side role the cover letter. <laughs> everything was tailored and then you had to monitor every application so definitely do give credit to yourself and of course Thank you. you spent three weeks of your summer with us nine to five of every course. day um, <laughs> trying to get your practical experience so it's, it's uh, fully deserved and uh, all Thank of us you. here at the Amplified team were over the moon uh, Morgan Stanley are very lucky to have you I think they've got an excellent candidate and I'm, I'm pleased, you, pleased you chose uh, to go with them obviously um, but <laughs> thank, thank you for, for this feedback um, no worries, really really you. happy to see you do so well.